I could write down a few of them. To be handed down like batons to those in the front lines. But we are off to war. We are off to war, not this battle of wretched remittance. We are off to war. This war of the minds, this war of the worlds. This war of the stages at the center. And brighter King Osip's communion wine from the Kalapash. I did not come to pour libation. I simply came to greet you, brother and sister, and elder clansman and kinsman, and ask a few questions. This is simply a family gathering. Can we have a conversation? Future leaders, you are not allowed to think because you are only children. It is not your time yet to be at the forefront. But mind you, by the time you turn, to look at all those who follow you, you realize that your dreams would have fizzled. They would not have feet. And so while all men sleep, it takes a few to dream, for dreams are the preserve of the chosen. After a man has dreamt, perhaps he ends a place in a palanquin, but it is feet of believers like us who dare to make these dreams arrive at their destinations. And so we have had a lot of leaders and all of it. Please, I am a humble follower. I am a follower of history. I I'm a follower of current trends. I am a follower of great vision to see where it ends. I am a timeless eye, hinged on this crossroads of dreams, watching the way all your immortal lives play out. When all of it is spent, you take your bows out of these doors into ancestral circles. How you're welcome on those sides is a different matter. Dreams. While they remain the preserve of the chosen, what happens when these are behind the wheels and the rest of us have to push the mad we have to kick? When all the dreams are spent, then what happens? One man takes all the fame. It is sad. It is sad that the laborers who break their backs to carry the grains won't be denied a mouthful. Just as it is sad for a man, full-grown man with children who call him Papa to stagger home in tears. But alas, such are the ways of the world. And so... Tell me many things, and maybe I could write down a few. Hand them down to generations like batons to those on the front lines. And so future leaders, like I would always say, we owe the responsibility of training the future who is a child at her feet, such that when it grows, it knows to treat us elders with some respect. And so that maybe we can dare to go on retirement in peace, or to show them that life could start at 60 and 5. Five youthful steps. Ah, may we go beyond 90, after which we shall attain Godhead. God bless our homeland, Ghana. God bless our founding fathers. God bless Kwame and Kroma. God bless this day on which we all were born. I dare say, Afishia Pa, because. When a day takes its full turn of moon and sun and stars, it is simply a leader's dreams that can be counted when all of his lives are spent.
I still believe that we have christened too many ancestors. We have invoked them too many times, offered them too much drink. They hardly have time to be dead this time to christen new ancestors, living pieces of elevated earth, you and I, so that we can also leave our footprints, not in the sands, but on the stones of time, on the hearts of time, on the minds of time, so that our legacy will be golden enough. In chasa pantu homen chima me fasu enya jimpo no to me anum ye din musika sa no shre chida wadu wan senum apim yen su abu ye din su etim yen su afreyen a mama a mamba padia mo main gana anasase u mama kwe bi ofasi me be chine ubi bi enya baku na ukra wunim za nyun zem na mika nan kan se nkwi be fa hen anyom ni kopi me chine u master of all trades. Jack of all trades, master of all. In today, na wu ni miye, a wu deba sumo mwa ingana. In a day, I challenge you, take up your gifts, take up your intellect, dare to be truthful, dare to do what is right, and maybe Ghana will work again. Because I've said this, and let me emphasize, for when a matter is good, you do not send it through many times before it gets to the ear for which it is intended. Good intentions alone are not enough. You see, we have had enough excuses which are good to wash our hands with soup, but Ghana needs action to rinse it with pure water. Let us not share responsibility. Let us not play this tired blame game of too much spittle from master to slave and talk about colonialism and all the convenient excuses we can hide behind and excuse ourselves of all the responsibility we need to take. People, this family meeting is almost ending. Where to the wise? Eh, it's coming from the south. It goes all the way up to the north. Where to the wise is enough. That is why our elders taught us the language of Proverbs. Happy Kwame Kroma Day. Medasi. <laughs> At what film as I say, Philip Boachi, dear Oyinka, Mama, thank you. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? Very well, by God's grace. Fantastic, brother. fantastic. Charlie, it's good to see you. It's, it's good to see you too. It's, it's ever so refreshing when you, you come on the set, and um, it's, it's almost as if um, there's never a down moment. Yes. Yeah. You know when when you when you are here with us, and it's, it's very exciting to hear you and uh, listen to you. And now seeing you play and play uh, traditional, you know, patriotic songs like that—I mean, it's fantastic. <laughs> That's it's fantastic. spiritual music, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Oh, have you been? Charlie. Very well. Yeah? As I said, I see the beyond that phone. Yeah. Put it here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going to go. Yeah. I'm going to go. Yeah. That sort of provokes a thought. <laughs> Why Nana Sase? Why not Nana Sase? Good morning to your cherished viewers yeah. all over the world. Nana Sase is, has got nothing to do with Asase as a disclaimer okay. for starters. We say the creator lives in heaven. Mm. You see a churn in sounds, we man and we show him drink, we offer him that. Yeah. And then we give it to earth, mother, mm. womb, tomb. Mm. Mother Africa has been here for so long, so where has father been? I was trying to state a case for irresponsible fathers, you know. <laughs> Father Africa is right here. Asase <laughs> simply says that while the creator is handling things up in the divine, yeah. it takes human effort to meet that, to yeah. ensure that everything we call a dream comes to fruition. Nana Asase is a footstool bearer of the creator up there mm. in heaven. Mm. And so I say I'm the hefty tongue of conscience housed in the cheeks of time, mm. awaiting the next eternity to speak light to this chaos of the world. That is the essence of <laughs> Nana Asase. Asase is a traveler. When you look at my costumes, I started performing. Yeah. I had a straw hat, yes. I had a smock. Yeah. Those days I had a cloth, mm -hmm. I had a sword, I had a calabash. Yeah. The hat is a symbol of a, of a traveler, a nomad. Yes. So I have traveled, I have stories, so mm. I can tell you stories. Mm. I have the smock as a battle dress. I have seen battles. The blade is a symbol of peace, mm. once it's not been on sheath. Okay. And so it's a warrior who chooses to be peaceful. Okay. Now the calabash holds like grain, that. holds water, holds mm. share, holds everything we deem to be life. It's mm. a womb, it's a, it's, a, it's a cross section of the womb we mm. eat from the calabash. Mm. That is what it is. Yeah. And so we plant that in the wombs of the earth. Mm. The Ahinema is a symbol of royalty. And so you realize that it embodies <clears throat> different bits of Ghana. The kente I wear, I have the Volta kente, I have the Ashanti kente. Mm. Whoever wants to have an argument, I have this one. Yeah. The smoke as well. So it's, it's you know, a symbol of all that Ghana is or a Ghanaian is to tell the Ghanaian story. So on the subject of proverbs and deep saying, Ish. Um, <laughs> Funtun Yeah. When you boom, yeah. Now so dia pray. Yeah. If we say a Janini de Emnimu in Why is it that Ghana hasn't taken wisdom from this a dinkra yeah. advice Sym symbology proverb that we have and prayer and air pray. Prayer. We say as empire, yes, but we don't live by it. We don't live by it. We live it for the artists, and yeah. the few artists are dreamers. Yeah. We, we just want to put words. It's like together. people who are, are just idealists. They don't. They're not real. Yeah, I, I believe we have left something behind, which is traditional rule and traditional authority. Mm. You know, people feel that yeah. weight of yeah. traditional authority yeah. sometimes even more than our formal court systems. Yeah. I feel like when the so-called educated elites now had the chance, they felt, okay, the traditional rulers have had their day, so let us sideline them mm. without realizing that a combination of both. Yeah. The British we are learning from, what do they have? They have a monarchy, mm. and they are the leader politicians to mm. deal with the government business and mm. all of it. But on the back end of it, there was an Ambrewetia, or yeah. there is a king, a royal, yes. I am yeah. someone we yeah. can not that. afford to yeah. you know, talk to anyhow. Yeah. That Absolutely. is how their system looks like. Yeah. And then what do we have in yeah. trying to copy them? Yeah. We sideline traditional authority who are really the owners of the land and yeah. want to just play hybrid or mm. whatever system mm. that is so alien to us. Mm. How were our ancestors ruling our people? How did they build these civilizations? Yeah. How come they had proper sanitation system, drainage systems, fantastic, well laid out cities? Yeah. We can't seem to find them today. Yeah. We're looking to the West to teach us how to do it, when it was the Moors from here yeah. who went out there to teach them how to build castles. Yeah. And they came back and locked us in those yeah. dungeons. Let us, we have our history, look. Yeah. Let us just not pile and gather dust. Yeah. I just wish we would have the will. Mm. So why have we not taken wisdom from it? It would be an individual question for it everybody in leadership position. Yeah. By leadership, I don't, not, I don't necessarily take it to the doorstep of politicians. Yeah. By leadership, I take it to the doorsteps of fathers yeah. who have not taught their children their mother tongues. Mm. Take it to the doorsteps of mothers mm. who have not taught their daughters to prepare meals that reflect us as Ghanaians. Mm. I'll take it to the doorsteps of teachers in schools mm. or policy makers who are not ensuring that our Ghanaianness is put in our curriculum. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. Th these are questions we should ask each uh, other. What project are you working on now? Always doing Currently. something. Yeah. It's been 10 years already. <laughs> yeah. This is my 23rd year of practicing as a poet. Wow. This is my 10th year full time since I decided to do poetry. And uh, I recently opened up my office space okay. in Accra, uh, okay. Assassin Inscriptions. Yeah. Yeah, so eventually we have an office. Now we have an office That's space. Amazing. We are preparing two events. Okay. One for November and yeah. the other <clears> in December. Okay. November, we are tentatively working with November 11th at um, Art Africa in Usu. Okay. Yeah, we're working in collaboration with them. And then on 12th December, which happens to be my birthday as mm. well, we, we have a second event to mark the 10th anniversary proper. Beyond it, we're here for business. We teach Chi, we teach African literature for what it is, mm. we teach indigenous knowledge, your drumming, your dancing, yeah. public speaking, mm. anything to do with African oratory, yeah. I think you should get in touch with us. It's mm. high time mm. we start imbuing our people with these things. Mm. There are grown-ups who need to learn these basics. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Because when you pick leadership from the ethics of African literature, you realize that, look, there's a lot of wisdom, as you say, mm. in these problems and all of it. I'm sure that is the reason why most of our corporates even want to get into branding and then they are looking for their ethos and they find it in some of these symbology. Yeah. These are some of the things that we are out to teach. Mm. Yeah. Beyond Fantastic. everything. These are the things that I am out so on the 11th to help of spread. November, 11th of and November. Then 12th of December. And then 12th of December. 12th of December. Fantastic. But before then, look. Every day is business day. <coughs> and yet you already have it. Yeah. Look, once it's morning, yeah, it's, it's, it's a happy year. new year to yeah. you. Look, because <laughs> you will not have that day yeah. again unless another year, unless another year comes yeah. by. Yeah. So consistently, Fantastic. people, I believe that these are conversations I would mm. love to have mm. with people. We'll be having yeah. a lot of conversations, writer workshops, mm. you know, community engagements, mm. because there are some conversations we do not have. Let me yeah. leave you with this. Welcome to Africa, where everybody knows the truth, yet a child is not allowed to tell it. Wow. Please repeat that. Welcome to Africa, mm. where everybody knows the truth, yet a child is not allowed to tell it. Okay. On that note, I think we're going to take a quick break. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm just curious as to why children's mouths have been shut up mm. from telling the truth, which we all know anyway. Mm. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.